I am Tech Ritter Omega, and welcome back to Lavender. All right, so I had some thoughts in between in the last like 20 seconds. Uh, it's very specific about the plurality of the words. An embryo is forming, a flower blooms inside. Two insects, yes, but that's that that one's direct. But these eyes. So I think there's two eyes. Each limb grows one sharp blade. Now that could just be irrelevant, or it could mean, I don't know, maybe either two or four claws. We're gonna try both. More than likely, it would be four claws. We'll try that one. I don't know, bears have four claws. Well, four paws. Also four claws, don't they? Do they have four claws? I'm pretty sure they have four claws. Alright, well, egg, flower, two insects. I hope these things aren't alive. Your wigs are weird. Fruit. Eyes. Eyes. And then bear claws. And then put all the bear claws on there, on account of it being, you know, useful. There we go. Yay! Alright, well, did I already find the one pink hair in this room? Tell you what I am gonna do, though. I'm going to save. Save here. Actually, save there. And each time I go down... It's absolutely silent in this room. Absolutely silent in this room. Who's that? Hang on. Is this the magical reset button? Yes, it is. Okay. Is there one in the tree? It's too heavy to move. The book on the table reads, Three hearts have gathered. One hidden, one brave. They both feel desire, the third unaware. Beginning. It's the beginning of three plants spouting. Spouting? Spouting. Sprout. Sprout. I might have to see something. When I'm done, I'll check that for things. Anyways, so, tree! I don't know! Sorry, what? <laughs> Three hearts have gathered. One hidden, one brave. They both feel desired, the third unaware. Okay, so I have to work out those. Something tells me these paintings will tell me something. But the paintings are all palette colored. So are you brave? No, you're, you're the blonde haired thing. Uh, let's go up here. This might not be relevant at all. These two! Plea. It's a painting of two women, one begging the other. Alright, so, yeah, that's the small one, and the other one, and there's the taller one, who I don't think I've seen in a painting yet. But that was plea. So, down we go. Maybe we can work out something from that. Hey, what was the puzzle on that floor? That was the predator one, yeah, that's the predator one, alright. No, oh, that's not it. That's not what I wanted to do. What was that? Hang on, I just see something. I swear that thing popped out. Whatever was on the side there popped out. Alright, so... There's a specific combination... To get you somewhere. And then there's that tree that needs to go there. So... I don't suppose I can move you. I have to move that one first. Okay, so you need to move. You need to get out. Whereupon you need to move. You need to get out. Whereupon you also need to move. Get out. You need to go there. Do it doesn't matter which one I get it to. I feel like it does. There. Let's try it like this. Anything? No. 
I swap these two around. Do I need them to open that? Move this tree. I might. I might need all three of them. Oh my god, I'm so fast. Ah! No, I cannot move this tree. Okay, why? Too heavy to move. Well, then... Um... So you're the plea. A hidden heart! A brave one, and they both feel desire. The third, unaware. Alright, so maybe you go away. You go very away while I do this. And then you also go away while I do this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this tree. One hidden, one brave. A hidden heart and a brave heart. They both feel desires, the third I don't know where. And then one of them has no idea. Um You you got me confused now. What what's happening? What's Okay, good. Sorry, I, I I used the shortcut to record, and now I'm paranoid that if I um do that, I'm gonna hit the mute button, even though I moved the mute button. I forgot I moved the mute button. Okay. Go there for a little bit. So one's unaware, which I assume means... One of these does not actually go on the switch. One of you helps me move this tree, presumably. It's too heavy to move. Well... This one holding like a flower. This one. Honestly, don't know what I'm doing. Um. And this looks kind of like a flower. That looks like a tuft of grass. And there's the tree. Which I thought would have been, like, a simple growth thing. Like, boop, and boop, and boop. Because you're the tallest. I think. I've seen you two before. You? I don't know if I've seen you before. Let's try something different. Alright, my reasoning behind this is that this is the hidden one, and this is the brave one. The brave one being represented by a tree for unknown reasons. Or maybe not, you know. Oh, there we go. Apparently that was right. Attach the pink hair to the nails. Oh, whoops! Did, did I just unlock a secret? Did I do a secret? Did I do a secret? Alright, let's go out this door first. I will go back and go through that one. Oh, it's the exit. Meow! There's my comb. And there's mother. Am I about to get killed? Lavender? What are you doing out here? I- I'm sorry, I dropped my new comb out the window. I- I wanted to retrieve it before you'd get back. Is that so? 
Oh, Lavender. Aww. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm sorry. Don't be. I was just surprised, that's all. We should just get back inside, okay? Okay. I brought lunch. Ah, uh, thank you. That took two hours? She, what time was it, Mama? Yeah. Aw, oh, this is so cute. The end. Now! I assumed the reason the horror tag was there is because of whatever is in the other thing. Alright. Whatever was in, whatever, whatever's down there. We're gonna go down there! I will not refuse to throw myself into wherever where demons lie. Unless, I, unless it's, you know, in my best interest. Which it usually is, so I guess that means I often refuse to do that. Now... Let's see why this game is tagged as horror, shall we? It has to be down here. There's a spider web on my screen. It's a little spider web. Also, I just now noticed my, my, my animation. On account of it, I'm usually moving too fast to notice, but with the stairs, it was scrolling with me. What demons lurk down here? Ah, uh, jail cell. demon. Present! It's a painting of a bald woman holding a baby. And what is presumably a key. Is this with a key on the table? Yes, alright, well, off we go. This door was probably locked before. Use the silver key. Alright, jail cell, bloody jail cell. A uh, corpse in a jail cell. More bloody jail cells. Another corpse in a jail cell. Highest blood count. Heavy breathing in my ear. Looks like a diary. It reads. I couldn't do it. Even if they're not viable. They look too much like her. I just couldn't. And Lavender. She must never know what I did. What did you do, mother? Oh, you're breathing. Ew. You alright? What? What is this? Yeah, I'd back away. This is... Mother. Mother dear. Mum? So it came to this. Mum, I... I don't understand. Yeah, I don't either. Why... Why this? I don't expect you to understand. Understand what? Oh, did your clothing change? You changed your clothes to come down here and murder me. What is happening here? I'm sorry, Lavender. I don't think we will have any more birthdays together. She stabbed me. In the gut. That was rude. Secret end. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well. So, yeah, that it was entirely possible to go through the game. See, now when I first started this game, my first thought is, if you can go through a game without horror, like a horror game without the horror, it means that you can do something... secret. For example, I think it was The Witch's House. If you just sit at the start of the game for a long period of time, you can leave. You can go through, you can pretty much skip the entire game and just leave. So... I guess I had a hunch? Anyways, I knew I was going to die just because I was going to die. Alright, well, that was neat. That was a fun little thing. Alright. I gotta... I gotta get these edited and uploading, so... Let's see you around. Actually, before I go, um... I, I, I went to the extras menu, and it said to please insert the grey painting's name. Wasn't it present? 
Was that the painting she's talking you're, that you're talking about? It was. Let's go find out. I'm pretty sure it was present, but it had an exclamation point. None of these are gray. Unless you're gray. I wouldn't consider you gray. You're green. You are blue. You are very blue. You are purple. Or lavender. Alright. So it is, it's just present, but there was an exclamation point. Let's try present first, because I didn't see an exclamation point. So... Uh... There we go. Neat. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, hello. Oh, me? I'm the mascot for Clockwork Prince. Needless to say, I'm not an in-game character. Talk to my clones if you want thoughts of the game's development. They will comment on whatever is nearby. Neat. Game Origin. Before committing to Lavender, I worked on an entirely different game. That game was my first entry attempt to the Pixel Horror Jam 2016 on Itch.io. However, that first project proved far too, lar or too large in scope to be feasible for a jam. So after about a month of working on that previous game, I got the idea for Lavender. Oh, neat. We'll go and annoy the characters in a bit. Con the concept for Lavender is rather simple, an alternate take on Rapunzel's fairy tale where the main character has a more active role and moves everything forward. I left out the prince because in the original story he led Rapunzel outside, yet I wanted Lavender to go outside of her own volition. Well, that's game concept 4. As I am a big fan of implicit storytelling, I wanted Lavender's story to be told mainly through information gathered from the puzzles and the areas in the game. To help illustrate the backstory, several paintings were placed in the tower. Said paintings were not always literal depictions of what happened, however. Endings. I knew from the start that I wanted the game to have two different endings. One that's somehow a happy ending and one that clearly wasn't. I was very inspired by The Witch's House since the, that game's true ending shines a completely different light on the entire game. Yeah, but I didn't want to name either ending the true one as I prefer to let the player decide the one they like best and prefer to see as true. Color shifts. Because of the time constraints of the game jam this game was made for, I decided to give the game a limited color palette. To break the monotony of having just a few colors, each tower floor has its own associated color set. The only time the game breaks from the limited colors is during its ending cutscene. Its ending scene. So it's down here. Or are these the puzzles? Puzzle plants! A puzzle where the player has to grow plants in the correct order. Probably has the worst puzzle design out of the entire game. As the correct order cannot be deduced without trial and error. You're not wrong. Puzzle chess. For the puzzle, the hardest aspect was communicating well with the player. I sent a prototype to some of my testers, which quickly led me to discover that not everyone is familiar with the basics of chess, which is why you put the four pieces. While there was a rookie mistake, it gave me the opportunity to make the room less empty. The chess room had been very boring before the bookcases got added. Alright. Puzzle scales. Yeah, the scale puzzles was probably one of the more challenging to design. While I knew that I wanted to be like a Wanted it to be like I wasn't sure how to execute it. I ultimately went with making parallax backgrounds that would change whenever the amount of weight on the scales changed. Because of RPG Maker's uh, limitations, I made five different parallax images. Making the puzzle bug-free was a real challenge. Wait, there was images in the background during that puzzle? Did I not notice? Oh, I feel really rude now, if they were there. Because of the sheer amount of event instances it required. Alright. Hello. The puzzles were challenging, but fun to create. I learned a lot while making them, which will definitely help my future projects. Sweet, I want to see your future projects. The book on the table reads, In this room, you can view commentary, uh, a commentary on each puzzle from the game. Yeah, I figured that one out. The maze. Compared to all other puzzles, this one is rather simplistic. However, I felt like it tied well with the story and chapter depicted on that floor. This was the puzzle I finished making the fastest by far. Yeah, I noticed. Puzzle rings. These rings puzzle is a comparatively easy since it's a lot like a jigsaw puzzle. The main difference would be that there is no picture to complete, only pieces to fit inside the rings of the board. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I was a child that was stolen, or that was sold to a witch. 
and she promptly murdered me. And well, I don't know what she was doing in the basement. They all look like her. Is she growing like clones of me? Or clones of something? I I I don't know what she was up to down there, but maybe failed lavender clones, failed lavenders, or maybe just more children. Hmm. Oh well, only pieces to fit inside the rings of the board. All right, this one was relatively easy to make since it was one of the later puzzle games I made, and I had already learned a lot from the others that were already done. Or one of the later puzzles, not puzzle games. You silly. All right, puzzle statues. Basically, a variation of the puzzle where you push a block through a maze. This time around, the goal the goal is to get the statues in the right place. The one that made this harder was choosing the type of floor patterns to use. Though since the statues make more sense when aligned a certain way, I trusted many players to catch to the scene that the statues' poses hinted at. Yeah. Is that what it was? <laughs> I just kind of stuck them wherever. I, I went with you because you were unaware and it was like kind of the little shrub or grass thing. You were on the ground and you were standing upright. Alright, let's go see. What do you have? These are just the characters. In this room, you can read general commentary on the book, see small profiles on each character, look at CGs, and listen to music. Oh, sweet. Boop. Lavender! A young girl who's raised in a tower isolated from the outside world. Rosalie is your name. Okay, a witch whose life is not rose-tinted. Yeah, I noticed that. Lily. Sorry, who? A young woman who would do everything for her child. Florian, a young peasant who fell in love with Lily. Oh, okay, so I'm their daughter. I'm their daughter. I think. And this one stole me. You could tell she was evil at the start. Nobody wears stuff. Nobody wears clothes like that. Alright. Do you want to listen to the game's music? Uh, I'd rather not, actually. The book on the table reads... Anyways, I noticed some of it was from Mayuji. He does really cool stuff on YouTube. That might get this video un unmonetized, but that's alright. It won't be monetized soon, anyways. In the, in the room to the right, you can view all the paintings found inside the game! Yes, I can! Hello. Making these paintings for the game was something that I wasn't sure I could do. Since the game was made for a game jam, I had to work really fast. But in the end, I'm really happy I could include them. You did these fast? I couldn't do these at all! Nurture. It's a painting of a mother and a child. Yeah, that would be... Me and her, from presumably. Bastion. It's a painting of a tower. Yeah, I noticed that. Plea. It's a painting of two women, one begging the other. That would be the... That looks kind of like me. But I don't know who that taller one is. Oh, the taller one is Rosalie, isn't it? That's the witch. Begging for the child's lo- begging for the garden! Okay, that makes more sense. Temptation, it's a painting of an idyllic garden. Yeah, it's the garden. And that's what happened. The garden happened. So you're Florian! Commitment, it's a painting of a wedding. Yes, and then she was pregnant. Future, it's a painting of a pregnant woman. And then there's this one. Beginning, it's a painting of three plants sprouting. And then there's this one. Present, it's a painting of a bald woman holding a baby. Yeah. I still don't know, I, I still don't know what, there's probably some context clues as to what she was doing in the basement, but I don't know what she was doing. She was doing some shady stuff and I got shipped in the gut for it. Alright, well, that's it. Thank you so much for sticking with me. This is, this is, this is a fun little game. Anyways. Now you have an insight into the game design itself. You stop by again sometime.